My name is Andrea and today I made my very first trip to DG Market. Now, if you're not familiar with DG Market, it is Dollar General's answer to a grocery store. So it's half grocery store and half Dollar General. It's probably about the size of an Aldi, if you're familiar with Aldi. Um, it's kind of like a super Walmart wrapped in one. So I kind of strolled around and took some pictures, which you're probably viewing right now. And I grabbed a few things, not a lot because I really didn't need anything. I just kind of wanted you all to see what kind of things they have in the store. So I'll start right over here. I saw these really cute basket tags. They were a dollar each. They had this white color and then they also had a wooden color and um, I thought they were pretty cute. I also grabbed some adhesive labels for a dollar each and there are two sheets and there are um, 10 little labels and I thought they were pretty cute. Um, this was also a dollar adhesive labels. You get three sheets and let me try to get the glare off of that for you all. Um, but as you can see, it says recipe used by ingredients and directions. These would be really cute for some freezer meals. And then I saw this um, essential oil and you can actually put this one on your skin. It was also a dollar and it's lavender scent. I love the smell of lavender. This is the only scent that they had. I grabbed some of these leggings. Um, they also they have a cell phone pocket and these were $10 each, which if you've ever bought leggings before, you know that's a pretty good deal, especially for leggings with pockets. Of course, I don't know how they fit. I'm hoping they fit pretty good, um, but I couldn't pass that up. And they had a lot of different styles, which I thought were pretty cute. I grabbed a Dr. Pepper creamy coconut for my husband. He is a Dr. Pepper drinker in our house. Um, so I grabbed this for him to try. And my son likes Pringles type chips. And so I wanted to give these a try too. You'll notice that most of the things that I picked up are Clover Valley, cause I just wanted to try their brand out. I also grabbed a side of chicken flavored rice. This is also Clover Valley. And I think this was a dollar. And then I just grabbed a bag of Southern Biscuit Formula and it has shortening in there. So I thought that would be interesting to try, $1.45. They had an entire line of the Girl Scout type cookies, the same as Aldi. They maybe had some more flavors like the peanut butter. Um, but I think these were a little over, these may have been 260 or something like that. So I grabbed a package. They had fresh produce. They also had meat, dairy. I grabbed these two peppers and these were to me a little expensive. I think these were $2.95. Normally they come in a three pack everywhere else, but these were, um, like I said, $2.95 for two peppers. I found the prices to be about 15% higher than Aldi prices, um, but the difference between Aldi and the, dollar, and the DG market is that DG Market had mostly name brand stuff. So like I said, I grabbed the Clover Valley just to try it out. I grabbed some Sloppy Joe seasoning mix and I also grabbed some Hush Puppies. These were $3.50 and these are frozen Hush Puppies. This is what they, this is what they look like. And then I grabbed a couple of cans of diced green chilies. I thought these were kind of expensive. Um, these were 90 cents each. And then I just grabbed some rich and crisp butter crackers because I'm almost out. I grabbed a box of their deluxe mac and cheese. And I also grabbed a jar of their pizza sauce. I'm trying that out for the first time as well. Grabbed this Parmesan cheese and it was six ounces. I think this was 275. And then I grabbed this meat lover scrambler for my husband. He's a breakfast person in our house and uh, scrambled eggs, roasted red potatoes, breakfast sausage and bacon, three cheese sauce, and it has cheddar cheese on top. So this sounded like him. He can either eat it as is, or he can wrap it in a tortilla and eat it like a breakfast burrito. And then I also grabbed some Texas toast. You get six slices here. And I think this was $3 as well. So like I said, the prices are a little bit higher than what you would find at Aldi but it's about the same size as Aldi. So 
Anyway, I just wanted to show you all everything that I picked up. My total was $49 and 10 of that total were these active leggings. So everything else I spent $39 on. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy haul. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.